On the first day of first grade, Miss Jenkins made me want to win. Now, I could get any kind of food or candy gift at home, of course. We lived in the projects, and we had everything to choose from because Papa kept us living and eating very well. But what Miss Jenkins did was different. She filled us with the feeling that we had to work to win, that we had to focus to learn, and whatever was happening anywhere outside of her class didn't matter. We had to get it right or be exposed and embarrassed. Our second day in our first grade class, as soon as we arrived, she handed out blank sheets of paper and gave us our second quiz. We couldn't believe it. We just looked around at each other. Learning is not only repeating, she told us. Learning includes remembering, she said, slowly pronouncing each word. Everything you learn should be remembered and used in your life. When she collected our papers, she made every student stand. She called out our names and separated us into two groups. These are the students who remembered, she pointed. These are the students who forgot, she pointed. Immediately, she gave each student in the group who remembered a bag of multicolored marbles. Then she told the kids who forgot, if you don't learn to read and write, you can't do anything. We stood there feeling ashamed. Shame was a new feeling for me. I was a rich girl from a rich family the best family in my Brooklyn hood. I never had a reason to feel shame before I met Miss Jenkins. As we, the forgetters, had to remain standing, answering Miss Jenkins like we was in the chorus, I got red and redder. Miss Jenkins called out, if you don't learn to read and write, whose fault is it? Then she taught us all to respond by saying it out loud. If you don't learn to read or write, then it is my fault. At the end of class, I took my paper to Miss Jenkins. I got a 95, I said to her. She looked down at me and said, that's not 100.